Hello everyone and welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you, thank you for watching along with me. I am randomly cold, <laughs> freezing tonight. I just drank a really cold drink and I cannot warm up. I'm sure that will end very soon because we do not have air conditioning <laughs> and there's bright light in this tiny room. Tonight I'm watching Master and Commander. I am very excited for this. Not only have I got so many suggestions from people I trust about movies on Patreon and YouTube, but I have a lot of personal friends and family members who told me they loved this movie. Yeah, someone just told me today it's their top three favorite movies. So I'm excited. I know that Russell Crowe is in it. He was so good in Gladiator, which is the last movie I saw with him. I'm expecting big things, maybe too much. You know, when you go into a movie with super high expectations, I feel like that's what I'm doing with this. As always, it's so helpful if you hit that like button and if you want to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. You can also head on over to Patreon where you can help me pick the movies I'm watching next. Right now we're doing a really fun suspense bracket style tournament. Also full length reactions and early access. Okay, let's get started. April 1805, Napoleon is, oh, Napoleon time. Okay, oceans are now battlefields, meaning that we're gonna see ship fighting. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Master and commander, the far side of the world. If you've watched a few of my reactions, you know that I'm basically afraid of everything, but Acheron, en route to Pacific, sink, burn, or take her a prize. What I was going to say is I did not grow up around the ocean and just the vastness and deepness and can't see land around you. Can't do it. Such a scaredy cat. Jumping Billy. Seven death. What are those? Foggy ocean? Even scarier. Hey! That was Mary or Pippin! Which one? <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to see him, even though he's not a hobbit. What is it, Slade? I heard something. It sounded like a bell. Mr. Callum, me the lead, if you please. Those are little kids. I saw something. Should we beat the quarters? What does that mean? Like, ready stations? Better safe than sorry. Callum, you must make a decision. We shall beat the quarters! Oh man, that's a wake-up call. There he is. Two points up the starboard bow, sir. I, I, I thought I saw a shape. Did you see it, Mr. Callamy? No, sir. You did the right thing, Mr. Hollum. Go to your stations. Oh, phew. I thought he was going to chew him out. If they're going towards it, they got to be getting very close. Please. She's not in range yet! <gasps> How can they hold steady? Four side of the floor! Fire! The oceans are battlefields, holy crap! They're getting destroyed. Is this the ship that they were ordered to sink or burn or... The Acheron. Oh! They're rather shot away! We're fishing a barrel. Oh! They seem in a very bad way. Your order, sir. But isn't that fog, Tom? I thought they can't steer. Oh. Who for the fog bank? Wow, it is quite the team effort. Oh! We've done it! 
keep going. They're just gonna follow you. Oh, they must be so tired. Sorry, I don't know why I jumped at that. Two feet six inches, sir, and holding. Good work, Mr. Lamb. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize. It's the butcher's bill. Nine dead, 27 more. I didn't realize those could cause so much damage. Just a broken arm, sir. Well, you're in very good hands. I'm doing everything I can. I know you were close to his father. His father would have understood his mother, however. Let me take a look at that brow of yours. Damn, he was good. He came out of nowhere, cut across our tail, and took out our rudder. Damn fine gunner. He only slipped away because of the fog. You may have had the weather gauge, but we had the weather gods. I have no idea precisely what it is you're talking about. Seven weeks sailing, and he happens in darkness on our exact position. Then perhaps he was looking for us. Is that the guy from A Knight's Tale? I think it is. Our guns have no effect. She had the weather gauge and a clear advantage in firepower. What is the weather gauge? I mean, she had the wind in her favor. Heavy frigate like that in the Pacific. Frigate. <laughs> the surprise is a somewhat aged man of war. Would you call me an aged man of war, Doctor? Oh, surprise is the name of the ship. Mr. Lamb is confident with basic repairs. We can get home as we are. We're not going home. We can refit at sea. She is taking the water to the South Seas, and we are supposed to stop her. She's a vastly heavier ship. I like how they call the ships she's. It looks so complicated. Old Joe told me that when you die, they stitch you up in your helmet with the last stitch through your nose, just to make sure you're not asleep and not through the nose. You'll tell them. What's happening? Are you gonna do a surgery on him? <laughs> oh. oh! Are they doing what I think they're doing? And he's not asleep? I've never seen a braver patient. Is that his brains, Doctor? Those are his brains. On a wiggly ship? Back to work, you loafers! Let's get on with each other, please. Back to work! That was cute. Lord Blakeney, the doctor told me you were fond of reading, so I... Did you ever meet Lord Nelson, sir? You can find it in here, actually. May I beg you to tell me what kind of man he is? You should read the book. Scrapes, scrapes, screech, screech. <laughs> How about this? Are you in the mood for something more aggressive? I guess that's how you pass the time. I love it. <laughs> Is he kissing her? Oh, they all love their little... Not little. They love their ship. It's the Acheron, sir. Will here, he's seen her being built. In Boston, sir. So he described it to me and I'm not your model. An extra ration of rum for these men. Thank you very much, sir. Aww. Which I was saving for saluting, Dale. I'll drink wine. I'll drink wine, absolutely. <laughs> That's the future. A fascinating modern age we live in. <gasps> Only he can see us now. Even if we did catch up with her, she's out of our class. She's still vulnerable at the start, like the rest of us. Can't scare him off. That's a monkey. A large man of war, French, stopped here on the 10th and then headed south. Somewhere here, three weeks ahead. Sounds like Sean Connery with that pen in his mouth. That looked painful for him. That smile. Two wives and two sweethearts. May they never meet. <laughs> Mr. Blakeney said that you served under Lord Nelson. Can you tell me what he's like? I have had the honor of dining with him twice. Might we press you for an anecdote? I love how they used to talk. I shall never forget his words. He leant across the table and he said, May I trouble you for the salt? <laughs> <laughs> the second time he told me a story, 
about how someone offered him a boat cloak on a cold night. And he said, no, his zeal for king and country kept him warm. I know it sounds absurd, but with Nelson, you felt your heart glow. Is it so bad? I don't know, was Lord Nelson real? He sounds like a great sea captain. If you were forced to make a choice. I would choose the right-hand weevil. It has an advantage in both length and breadth. I have you. One must always choose the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> Oh, that poor old man still. The Lord give away. He spoke, Doctor. Well done, dear Stephen. Farewell and adieu to ladies of Spain. We hope in a short time. I just love the way they entertain themselves. Wish we could appreciate that now. This is the second time he's done this to me. There will not be a third. Who is the captain? I kill a relative of his in battle band. He fights like you, Jack. Ships are beautiful. Bring the sun down to the horizon. When its lower limb is touching the horizon, Williamson, look to your sextant. I love that he's teaching them right now and they're being chased. Oh boy, that was close. Man. I know I've said this in all the other war movies that they're speaking a different language, but this is the same way with this ship talk. Are they trying to trick the ship's whereabouts with that? So they fire at that? Hello? Now tell me that wasn't fun. Hot alarm! You can tell that Jack the captain just absolutely loves this. He's in like, you know, the ship's sights. Captain's not called Lucky Jack for no reason. I need more than luck in the Phantom. But think on our share of the prize money. Never met a dead man who bought me a drink. And I've never met a live one that you've bought one for now. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting up all night, catching your death of cold. And last night, coffee too. Thank you, Killick. <laughs> Killick's just always muttering at him under his breath. That's enough easting. Set a course south southwest. They want to be behind? It has to be more than a hundred sea miles and he brings us up on his tail. My God, that seaman ship. Still, if we can close this gap and get up behind us, she may well be ours. Turn three times. Rail <laughs> reserves. <laughs> Is this bad if there's a storm? Turn! Twelve knots, sir. That's amazing. Four hands on starboard rail. The intricacy to how they figured things out was amazing. The knots, the maps, the calculations. We'll be cracking off present if you don't watch it. Captain knows this ship, he knows what you can take. Cape on, Doctor. Sheesh. Do you reckon the captain will keep following him round the horn? Follow him to the gates of hell if he had to. It's a devil ship, it's leading us right into a trap. This guy, he knows. Oh, is someone up there? <gasps> Lots of people are. Closing on the top. I'll not give up now. Oh my gosh. Maybe they should just wait till morning. They seem sideways. Oh. Oh. <gasps> That's the cute blonde. Oh my gosh, how could you swim in that? The wreckage is acting as a sea anchor! We must cut it loose! No! Swim for the wreckage world! Don't! No! <gasps> That's his friend? Oh my gosh.
my gosh. What about no man left behind? That's terrible. ship in that storm. They are being too risky. And he had to cut the ropes. That young man was a casualty of war. You have to choose the lesser of two evils. Weevils. The crew will take it badly. Wally was popular. Am I speaking with my old friend or to the ship's captain? Speak plainly, Stephen. Perhaps we should have turned back weeks ago. And chasing this larger, faster ship is beginning to smack of pride. Can you really claim there's nothing personal in this call to duty? There is. He wants to take out that other captain. Due south. How fast out, sir? As far as is necessary, Mr. Pullings. Oh, no. Due south, please, Mr. Bonder. The crew is starting to have trickles of doubt, maybe. <laughs> Something terribly nautical and fascinating just happened. We have made our turn northward. To the south! To the south! I have asked Killick to prepare something special. Kill it! Kill it. <laughs> I give you our destination. Made of pudding? Galapagos Island. That's where the aircon will be. A slice of Albemarle? Redondo Rock. Perfect. And the aircon for me. <laughs> the doctor isn't happy about the Galapagos Islands. They're said to be full of strange and wonderful beasts. We'll have to stop for food and water. I promise you during that time, you can wander at will, collecting bugs and beetles to your heart's content. I would like that of all things. Wow. There's an ugly devil. Warts all over it. Oh, I can't see any women. There's lots of ducks in the <laughs> Those birds, they're a species of cormorant, but they appear to be flightless. I think that's unknown to science. I love how he's so excited. That's remarkable. But is there food and water for them there? And women? All hands about ship! Give us a oh, God bless you, Captain. God bless you all. Or crew prisoner, Captain dead. Shoot a big black three master. Mr. Allen, set a course. West by South. There's not a moment to lose. Oh, he was gonna go explore. Have you forgotten your promise? This is a long, thin island. I could walk across it. I could walk briskly. <sighs> pausing only to take the most important measures that could help advance our knowledge of natural history. But you were not, not a private yacht. Same we do not have time for your damned hobby, sir. I don't know whose side I'm on. I do think they should stop for food and water. He doesn't believe in the mission, but I think Jack does believe in it. More than just a pride thing. So I found a curious beetle walking on the deck. Were you to walk all day on the island, you might never come across it. Yes, that is more than likely, sure. You can have it, sir. Is it just a regular beetle? Mr. Blakeney. Thank you. So. I love how they call each other misters, even till kids. Two minutes and one second, sir! They're practicing. Doesn't that waste supplies? <sighs> He's like, must they? in amazement at the organization of a ship. He wants off the ship. <laughs> Uh-oh. I can harness the wind, but I ain't his goddamn creator. I have never known such a run of bad luck. I said I'd to him. For what caused the evil? Where'd that come from? It's from the Bible, the story of the Jonah. Jonah Cove, he'd offended God and was the cause of all their bad luck. 
Oh, no. Morning of the battle, he doesn't have the guts to beat to quarters. As soon as he went up the mizzen, Will falls. And whose watch was it when we lost our wind? Uh oh. The morale is very low. <laughs> you there! Take that man below and clap him in irons. What's going on? The man pushed past you without making his obedience, yet you said nothing. Why? The right words just didn't... The right words? I'll set that to right, sir. I'll be much tougher on them from now on. I will try much harder, sir. Oh. So the other guy blames Hollum for his friend? Do you think I want to flog Nagel? The man who stood beside me on the gunnel and hacked the ropes and sent his mate to his death. Under orders. Under my orders. Oh. He's gonna whip him? Jack, the man failed to salute me. Men yes. must be governed. That's the excuse of every tyrant in history. You've come to the wrong shop for anarchy, brother. No. How many? How many? Well. Well, that's certainly not going to help. What's happening? They're all mad at him? At least just dodging work as usual. Just leave him be! <laughs> Wait, is he having a panic attack? He thinks he's been cursed. Not everything is in your book, Stephen. Wait a second. It's imminent. Jonah. He's causing you. This old man is turning everyone against him? Many times tonight, the ghost ship's gonna turn up. It's gonna take us all with it. Straight down to the up place. Don't scare him! <gasps> you gave me such a start. You feeling better now? Yes. What's he doing? You've always been very kind to me. What's he doing? Goodbye, Blakey. No. No! He's killing himself? Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Was he that superstitious? Were they all? They... Not all of us become the men we once hoped we might be. We are all God's creatures. We failed him in respect of fellowship. And we ask for your forgiveness. And we ask for his. No. God be praised, Mr. Mode. They're gonna believe it now. It's going to separate and fester. Are you equal to the task? Well, it'd be a lot easier if we're on dry land. Oh, not the doctor. Stay on the horizon, sir. We think it's her, sir. He looks very ill. And he's like, I don't give a crap about that ship. Wait a second. Are they back on Galapagos? They didn't pursue the ship, so I could save him. Oh, Higgins, you gotta do this. I do this with my own hand. Um. He's gonna perform surgery on himself. Put your hand on my belly. That's your family when I give the word. Oh my gosh. Dean, please. Physically, could you? How would he not pass out? <laughs> Are you alright? He's asking him if he's alright. I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that all of it? Hi, sir. She'll patch up nicely. <sighs> Billy and I have been doing some collecting for you. It would appear that you have the makings of a naturalist. Fighting naturalist, like you, sir. <laughs> oh. 
This is the cutest relationship. Jack, I fear you may have burdened me with a debt I can never fully repay. Name a shrub after me. Something prickly and hard to eradicate. This can't be it, though. <laughs> Come on, pack up your things, we should be going. On the other side of the island. There must be at least ten miles. Well, then there's not a moment to lose. He just had surgery on himself. Width with the widest point. This is amazing. And why is he wearing so much clothing in this tropical island? I must find that cormorant. You can join me at the Royal Society dinner as co-discoverer. Don't hurt yourself. Cages. He's really carrying him? Oh, he's okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna die. Did you get to see your bird? No, my greatest discovery was your phantom. I'm sorry you had to leave the majority of your collection behind, Steve. Mr. Blakeney and I did make one very interesting find. Is it a stick bug? It's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Light bulb. What are they going to disguise themselves as? Everyone's being so quiet. I intend to take a greater interest in the bounty of nature from now on. Really? <laughs> yes. I had no idea that a study of nature could advance the art of naval warfare. <laughs> now to pull this predator in close and spring our trap. Mr. Allen! Aye. More smoke! Oh, this is going to be a battle, I think. Come on, Killick, you two, get dressed. Come on. Tom? <laughs> Killick kills me. Make a show of fleeing, panicky and disorganized, like a whaler might. Can't leave that, that's fine. Just come up here quick and get some whaler slots. They're pretending to be whalers. But they didn't finish painting the back. Attention to detail. Mr. Callum, he says I'm not on the boarding pass. My answer is no. When we board, you'll take command of the ship from here on the quarter deck. Thank you, sir. Right, lads. Speech. The Acheron is a tough nut to crack. More than twice our guns, more than twice our numbers. They mean to take us as a prize. <laughs> their greed will be their downfall. Oh, so they're not coming to help the whalers. They're coming to take them. And though we be on the far side of the world, this ship is our home. This ship is England. Surprise is on our side. <laughs> we finally get to, get to see who's on the other ship. What they're like? <gasps> Stop now, or we will destroy your ship. Let's go! Was that close enough? Did they get close enough? <gasps> Did it work? How would how would we know? That's how. Now what? What does starboard battery mean? I think it's working. I can't tell which is which. Take a part and cross the wreckage as best you can. They're going to board the boat? Wipe down. Silence. Oh no. Now they just did the same thing to them? This is terrible! I would prefer sword fighting! Oh, here we got some swords. I don't think I like this. Oh, well done, Mr. Blakely! Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on or who's winning or anything. He's on the other ship. Nope, same ship. Can they just surrender? Looks like they kind of are. Look at me down. 
L'infirmerie. No! Is he gonna be okay? Is that the captain? I did what I could for him. Before the captain died, he said I was to give you this. Ships they have to make it home still. Peter Miles Callamy, Lieutenant. We therefore commit their bodies to the deep, looking for the resurrection of the body when the sea shall give up her dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. It's our old friend. He's distracting him. I think I shall return to the Galapagos and give the doctor a few days to find his bird. You, however, shall take the Acheron south to Valparaiso, Captain Pulix. He's making him a captain. Godspeed, Tom. But they just destroyed Action. it. Huzzah for Captain Pulix! Huzzah! So does the French crew, what's left, just work for him? Wouldn't they be very mad at him? Here we go again. And she will be ready when it's ready. <laughs> So many wounded, only that poor unfortunate Higgins to tend to them. I met that doctor, I spoke to him. No, he died a fever months ago. No. <gasps> oh, change of course. We'll intercept the Acheron and we'll escort them into Valparaiso. The bird's flightless. Yes. It's not going anywhere. So the captain was the one pretending to be the doctor? So now, are they in big trouble? So now they're going to get the Acheron again? Oh my goodness. They're never getting off that boat. It's their home. Oh, is that it? It's not that far. If someone would have told me or tried to describe this movie to me before I had watched it, before I started this channel, oh yeah, in the olden days, they're on a ship and it's just on the ship and they're fighting each other, I would have been like, yeah, hard pass. But I am so glad I watched that. It was not at all what I expected, but I just found the whole way they lived and ran that ship and that time period and the way they treated each other so interesting and so intriguing. I thought Russell Crowe was amazing. The doctor, he was amazing. I loved their friendship, even though there was no love story. I love the focus on the relationships between the captain and the doctor and how he did take what the doctor said to heart after almost losing him and didn't jeopardize his men and him for the sake of winning. The ending, oh my gosh. So I think I understand it correctly is that the captain was pretending to be the doctor. The captain's still alive of that other ship and they were going to chase him for another battle to the tune of their little duet. Attention to detail, I feel like, and the way they spoke, and the beautiful shots of the ship, and the ocean, and the crew, and I was completely enthralled by it, and I was laughing. Like, somehow, they made this war, dirty, gritty, ship-living movie feel very heartwarming and funny. I really enjoyed it, so I'm very glad I watched it. I can see why so many people liked it. At first, I felt really mad at the captain for his zealous hunt to go after the ship and I agreed with the doctor that it was a pride thing but in the end I think he was an amazing captain you could tell that the men respected him but oh my gosh when he had to cut the ropes <sighs> ugh but you know what I think he got on top of something that they cut off and, and floated to that island where they were getting food and met a beautiful island girl and they lived happily ever after, so that's okay. <laughs> Overall, a beautiful movie, something I never thought I would enjoy, but thoroughly did. So glad I watched it, and thanks for watching along with me. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Huzzah!